Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to working on this very beautiful drawstring bag. This is a very easy pattern. We have to repeat only two rows for this pattern. So for this project, I am going to use this royal color yarn, peaches and cream. This is seventy eight gram. I have not used fully, and color is royal color. This is hundred percent cotton, medium four ply yarn. This is very nice yarn to make a bag, purse, or drawstring pouch or basket. Okay, so, so we can use this yarn, and then another one. I'm going to use the same peaches and cream cotton yarn. Okay, this is also medium four ply cotton yarn, and the color is forest green color. And I have used ten ten grams in each of the color. So totally, I have used eighty to ninety grams yarn for this project. Okay, so this is the one, and then another one is pretty in pink color, sugar and cream cotton yarn. So this is another one, peaches and cream, oasis color. Uh, this is also hundred percent cotton, the same brand, medium four ply yarn. So I am using all four colors. If you want, you can using single color or multi color like me. Okay, so this is the thing. This is only fifty grams. So I have used fully in this, and then ten ten gram in each. So totally, uh, approximately eighty to ninety grams of yarn we need for this project. I am using G four point five M book. So make a slip knot to start the project. So we need to start with the chain twenty four. like this you have to make a 24 chains so i have completed 24 chains now adding one more chain extra now we need to work on you can turn the chain to back side you can see one loop there you have to start working on okay so skip first stitch then in the next chain back side loop here you have to make a three single crochet This is the side increase. So one, two, and then three. Okay, so three single, and then make a single crochet in every stitch till the last stitch left. You have to make a single crochet in the back side loop. So you just turn the chain. You can see one loop there. You have to make a single crochet like this. Just continue till the end. So I have completed now at the last stitch back side loop here. You have to make three single crochet. So starting chain three single crochet and ending chain three single crochet. This is the increase. Okay, and then you just turn the other side. So you have to start working on single crochet from other side. So this is the three single right. So from the next stitch onwards. Here you have to make a single crochet from here onwards. Single crochet and the next stitch is single crochet like this and then next stitch you have to make a single crochet. So like this way you have to make a single crochet in every stitch till the end. So I just continue till end here. So I have completed 
okay now I'm going to make a single crochet in the next stitch and then make a slip stitch in the first single so you should get 50 single crochet in this round so first single crochet you have to make a slip stitch to finish this round so this is the row one pattern then chain one you have to make an increase here so make two single in the same stitch so previously we made three three increase right so that three sing single crochet you have to make a two two single crochet in each so six single so now we made two single and the next stitch two single crochet here and the next stitch two single crochet so in that three single you have to increase to two two okay totally six single and then continue making one single crochet in next stitches one single one single till the other side increase okay just continue making a single crochet like this till end so I have completed now here at the three increase right so here you have to make two single in the next stitch two single in the next two single in the next and then one single in all the stitches till the end of this row okay like this way you have to continue making a single crochet till end so single crochet and then single crochet continue till end here so I have completed now in the first single make a slip stitch so you should get 56 single crochet in this round okay and then chain one next row will be you have to make a single crochet in all the stitches so single crochet in the same stitch and then single crochet in the next single crochet in the next like that you just continue making a single crochet in every stitch so you just continue till end so I have completed I have got a 56 single crochet totally now I'm going to use a small six hook to make a slip stitch so if you are very difficult to make a slip stitch means you can use a small size hook and make a slip stitch and then change the size of the hook now next row chain one make a single crochet in the same stitch double crochet in the next stitch single crochet in the next stitch double crochet in the next single crochet in the next double crochet in the next so you have to repeat light single double single double till the end of this row just continue till end so I have completed now I am going to make a double crochet in the last stitch then slip stitch in the first single crochet so you have to start with single end with double next row you have to start with the chain 3 end with single crochet that you make sure every time okay so now chain 3 1 2 3 next double crochet is the right there you have to make a single crochet in the back loop okay and then double crochet in the next stitch that is a normal one but every single you have to make a back loop single crochet back loop single crochet in the next stitch and then double crochet in the next then back loop single crochet in the previous double crochet stitch so you have to make single in the double 
double in the single but you have to make a single crochet in the back loop only this is the pattern of all the rows okay now again next double crochet and then single crochet back side loop here and then make a double crochet in the next stitch just continue like this till the end of this row okay so I have completed now as I said earlier started with single uh, chain 3 right so now you have to finish with a single crochet and then make a slip stitch in the second chain to finish this round and then chain 1 you have to make a back loop in the back loop third chain you have to make a back loop single crochet like this and then double crochet in the next stitch and then back loop single in the next so you have to repeat the two rows for the whole pattern then double crochet in the next then back loop single and then double crochet you have to repeat so just continue like this till the end so I have completed at the end finished with double crochet right so you have to make a slip stitch in the first single and then chain 3 so repeat row 5 make a single in the next back loop single in the next stitch and then double crochet in the next then back loop single then double crochet back loop single double crochet so you just continue with this pattern till you reach the row 26 the same single double single double but single crochet you need to make a back side loop so I have completed 26 rows okay this is what it looks like I am going to finish it off this 26th round by making a slip stitch in the third chain to finish this round now chain one make a single crochet in the same stitch so you have to work on single crochet in every stitch till the end of this row that's it just continue like this till the end so I have completed now I am going to make a single crochet in the last stitch then slip stitch in the first single crochet to finish this round that's it chain one fasten off the yarn so we have completed the bag now now we need to make a string to join in the bag okay so you can see the design it looks like so we can make a string now for that I'm going to make a slip knot make a chain 75 okay just make a 75 chains like this so I have completed 75 chains now just leave some yarn and cut it, cut it out so that we can join the bead at the end ok so using the tapestry needle we can make we can join the string in the back so in the fourth row right top from top to here this pink color row in the middle part you have to do it like this and then 
skip one then in the next one so you have to do it like this till the end completed okay this is the way you have to join the string like this now you have to join the bead so if you want you can join the bead otherwise you can leave it as such and then do it like this make a knot so but I am going to I have joined one bead here so like that using the tapster needle I am going to join another bead and then knot it like this. So I am done, that's it, then you have to make it like this way. So I hope you really like this tutorial. So if you like this one, please subscribe to my channel and click notification bell icon. I have given my Facebook link and Insta link in the description. You can follow me in Facebook and Insta. You can definitely try this uh, bag. This is a very easy one. We need, we need only 80 to 90 grams of yarn. To make this bag okay so very nice and beginner pattern only for this bag so now I am going to do a measurement of the bag so the width is 24 centimeter 9.5 inches and the length is 26 centimeter from here to here 10.5 inches okay so the length should be more than the width okay the for the drawstring pouch this is the measurement so you can increase or decrease based on the size okay so you can definitely try this one if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section I will definitely respond you so very cute and pretty bag is ready now okay so thank you very much for watching my channel and please don't forget to subscribe.